today on Tent Talk, we have with us Louie Fox, who's performing in Minot, North Dakota, at the North Dakota State Fair with us. So, Louie. Yes. We want to know, how did you start performing Sideshow? I got started performing in general magic when I was a kid. What happens, I saw a show, I thought it was cool, and got some books and stuff like that, and that's how I kind of got started. It's not a very exciting story. How old were you? Probably first grade. Oh, wow. Yeah, a magician came to the school, and then somehow when I was about seven years old, I ended up in the school talent show. Uh, I had a trick where I had a, um, a paper clip and it disappeared, and someone ended up, I don't know if someone died or whatever, but I ended up in the talent show, and I remember um, not auditioning, and then someone being like, you're in the show tonight. I was like, what? I'm in like second grade. <laughs> so standing in, in a gym, of like, 300 people and holding a paper clip I'm like it's gone and realizing hey no one can see this <laughs> less than one <laughs> did you win the talent show no okay <laughs> no there was way cooler acts at west Woodland elementary school okay but it got you going yeah it got the spark what was your first sideshow act um first sideshow act probably like i learned to eat fire as a dopey teenager so uh -huh. probably that did you teach yourself yes yeah, it was uh, mm -hmm. us idiot kids in the backyard going, hey, wonder if we can figure this out. Oh boy, did anything go horribly wrong? Nope. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids, because something may go horribly wrong. <laughs> yes. And now, what's your favorite thing about performing for a fair audience? My favorite thing about a fair audience is that it's so many different kinds of people that wouldn't necessarily go out to a theme. I want to say it like they are not sophisticated, but that's not what I mean. Sure. Uh, if you, you have a different kind of relationship with the audience than you can in a formal theater. Because uh, you can go on tangents a little bit more, you can chat with people a little bit more. Sure. Is there anything in particular that you like to get across to the audience when you're performing specifically at a fair? Yes, yeah, so th this is something that's happening now, and it's the... Um, it's a unique show. It's not like I stand and do the exact same thing every time. I talk to people in the audience and things can happen. Like I had a guy blow me a kiss uh, earlier today. That was amazing. I heard that. Then did you do blue air kisses to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. So it's that No, fun. just one guy. Oh, just the one guy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. It wasn't for everyone. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> we connected. Very directed. Okay. So you like connecting with the audience. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. What surprised you the most about coming out with World of Wonders? It was, well, one of the things, I'm usually a full show, so doing that three minute chunk, um, a lot of my stuff, my goal and my acts I do is to get them longer. So, trimming stuff. And then, of course, as the weeks goes on, we start adding bits to the show, and then uh -huh. the three minutes becomes five minutes again. Mm -hmm. But that's an interesting, probably, challenge. Yes. Yeah, and it took me out of my comfort zone of my own show as well, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Um, what's a piece of advice you would give another performer about uh, traveling? Oh, about traveling? <laughs> have like nine toothbrushes. I have one <laughs> in my backpack, I have one in my car, I have one in my overnight bag because I lose them. So. Okay. Brushing your teeth very important. Yeah. You need that sparkly <laughs> smile. <laughs> okay. How about, um, what's your favorite sideshow act to watch as an audience member? Sword swallowing. Why is that? Because it's something I don't have the guts to try. Mm, literally? Yeah. <laughs> but it should be easy. <laughs> What's your uh, least favorite? To watch? Yeah. Uh, probably things like pin cushion, just because I have a needle phobia, so it Ooh. really, not a fan. Do you look away? Yeah, can't watch it. Yeah. Can't watch it. Well, we have some questions from uh, performers that were here previously that they want to ask. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle Ooh. the deck. Random question Ooh. for Louie. All right. Okay. Oh, this one is from Hexley. All right. Is there an act you're working on or that you'd like to learn someday? Oh, gee. I probably, maybe sword swallowing. <laughs> okay. Um, work up the guts. To yeah, do it. work up the guts to that. <laughs> Um, yeah, something like that I think would be interesting to learn to do. I don't know if I'd ever do it in my show, but mm -hmm. just, just as a skill. One of those things in my that. back pocket, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this one's from Reggie Boumouche. All right. What did you find out about Fairlife that was a pleasant surprise? Oh, that 
you don't have to eat like garbage on the fairgrounds. <laughs> What's, what, what did you get to eat that, that was that? Uh... You can usually find something if you hunt around. You can find stuff okay. like uh, we've been going to the crepe place. What yeah. kind of crepe do you get? I uh, get the spicy, meaty one. It's not good for you. Oh. <laughs> they, well, they, they do but it's tasty. One. It's tasty, and they do have a better option. Is there a favorite, like, traditional fair food that you have? I like trying whatever's unique to the fair we're at. So oh. it's, it's something I can't get anywhere. Some fairs, they don't have a thing that you go to the fair to get. I haven't found whatever that is here. Okay. Uh, you were talking about the fried pie the other day. Right. I haven't seen that before. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> See? Something it's pie. It's got to. fruit or vegetables in it. So, Fried pumpkin pie with cinnamon ice cream. That's my recommendation here at the North Dakota State Fair. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Lily Fox. Thank you.